I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment out here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, today we're out in the field today to do a face-off that I'm pretty excited about. A Massey Ferguson 4707 series tractor versus the John Deere 5075E. Both of these are pretty popular tractors in the segment, so I think it's going to be real interesting to see how they stack up and find out, does the saying hold true that you get more with Massey? All right, so first off, we want to walk around both these tractors, talk about some of the very first things that you see, that the differences that you notice uh, when you first walk up to these tractors. And I think the first thing you probably notice even watching this video is the Massey's significantly larger. Let's see if that holds true for some of the other features if you're still getting more with Massey. So one of the biggest differences that's easy to tell is tire size. And so on the 5075E, this is the standard tire size. Uh, it's a Galaxy tire versus our Trelleborg, which is a much larger tire. The rear tires kind of hold true that, that, that same way, although maybe not to as much of a degree, but, but the Massey's got a much larger tire. One thing you should also note, we're running radials. These are bias plies. And I know radials are an option on the deer, but when you start adding some of the things you get standard with Massey to the deer, you're gonna see a huge price jump and it's really not gonna be comparable at that point. So if you really look at an apples to apples comparison, I think you're gonna find the 4707 is gonna be hard to pass up. One thing I noticed when I was just doing my walk around, it doesn't appear that the front axle, front axle is a, has a locking diff on the deer. Whereas if we look on the Massey, you can easily see the, the hydraulic hose and the shifter for that locking front differential. So we can see it's got a front lock, locking differential and it doesn't appear to be that way on the deer because I don't see any hose coming to the front to lock that front axle. So that's one big difference that I don't even notice right off the bat. I don't, I don't pick that up when I see specs and things like that. So I thought that was kind of interesting to see the difference there. One other thing that we really can't see by looking at this tractor, the, on, on the deer, it's a three cylinder, 2.9 liter engine. Uh, on the Massey, it's a 3.3 liter, three cylinder engine. So a little over 10% more displacement when you go with the Massey. Um, as we're walking back, one of the other things you notice right off the bat is the, the difference in lighting. Um, with the Massey, we're going to give you a couple extra lights here. So when we talk about the, we've got these pillar lights, where, where with John Deere, you're going to get the roof lights and the hood lights. We're going to give you the roof lights, the pillar lights, and the hood lights. So a couple more lights, just a little bit more lighting. As we, as we walk back a little further, I think you can also kind of see that there's a, there's a pretty big difference in terms, in terms of the size of the cab. I'm gonna probably bust my tape measure out a little later and try to get some actual measurements. But when you walk up to these, you just feel like you're just getting a lot more cab. The door's just much larger. Uh, and the, the right side door comes standard on a Massey. Uh, you might not know this, but in most of these deers, that right side is not a door unless you up, get the optional upgrade to make it a door which is, it may not be a huge deal, but I tell you there's a lot of times when reaching in from this side is kind of handy or, or whatnot, or maybe the way you park it in the, in the barn or whatnot. It's really easy to be able to reach in and, and kind of check that out from like say both sides, where that's optional with the deer. Once again, we've talked about these two tires and we've talked about the fact that it's a bias ply, it's a Galaxy radio or Galaxy bias ply versus a trailer board radial. I think that's definitely the win for the Massey there. So when we walk around the back of the tractor, there's a few things you notice right off the bat as well. One, uh, the hammer strap is gonna come standard. And I know that's not a big deal to some of y'all, but if you're running a little square baler, you might find you need that. And I know Don, John Deere is gonna charge you. I think it's four or $500 for that hammer strap. We're also using external cylinders on the Massey versus on the deer, they're still running that, that old school kind of internal style. Um, I, I don't think it's, like say, it's, it's not nearly as accessible if you need to do service. Not as strong, it's one center pivot versus lifting on both sides of the rock shaft. So I like the external cylinders a lot more and we do get a significant uh, uh, increase in lift capacity on the three point. One thing to also look at is these adjusters. So our left and right side adjusters, pay attention to what that looks like versus how much heavier you're gonna see it is on the Massey. That's 
I, it's got to be twice as heavy. We're going to be doing another video where we're actually going to bust the tape measure out, but I just wanted to show you some of the some of the obvious things that you notice right off the bat. T talking a little bit about hydraulics for a minute, um, the John Deere comes standard with one, with a second one optional. Massey comes standard with two, with a third one optional. So here again, if you're buying a 5075E, you've at least got to add one just to make it up to spec with the, with the Massey. So with the Deer, you can see this is the one that comes standard and this is the one that's added. And I know that because you can see that they didn't even bother to paint the valve. So you've got a rusty valve here. That's because they have to add that at the dealership. And of course, you've got all these the, the steel lines that weren't painted as well. So it's easy to tell that they added that second remote, which from everything I'm seeing in, in the specs, two is the max you can do. You can technically do three on the loader, which is you know your two loader valves and then the, the the remote, but you can't get a third valve on that. So I think that's kind of interesting. Um, one other thing while we're talking about it is controlling the three point from the back. Um, as you can see, if, if you watched our video we did with the K75C tractor, and which is the same as like the new Holland 75, they have a mechanical lever that you fold out and kind of work it both ways to do the three point. John Deere doesn't seem to have given us any way to work the three-point from outside the cab. Um, there's no switches, there's no lever, there's just nothing. So, which is, like say, it's super handy when you're hooking up three-point implements to be able to work the three-point from the back of the cab. On our Massey, however, which I believe to be the best system out there as far as three-point control goes, we have switches on both sides of the cab. Uh, so, or I guess I should say either fender. That's going to give you the option to, to work these, these ro the three point up and down, adjust for those implements and do anything you need to do. Now, one other thing, I guess, before I kind of finish up here, that I think you'll see there's a pretty big difference in terms of how much iron goes into that. But watch me in another video. We're going to actually bust the tape measure out and see if we can get some measurements like we did with our case tractor to see how this one measures up. Uh, couple little points I'll just want to finish up with. I, I, some of this might sound piddly, but we have a rear wiper. There's no, there's no rear wiper on the John Deere. There's a lot of little things like that that I think make a difference. Um, and also something kind of new on the Masseys for 2022, when you order the third remote, you're going to get flow control and a zero return or, or free return back to the transmission. So if you're running any motor applications, you've got that going for you. So there's a lot of differences between these two tractors and that's just when you first step up to it. You can see there's more iron when you look at this rear end versus this one. You can see there's, there's heavier you know, draw bars, heavier three point controls and mechanisms. We're gonna measure all that up, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys just a quick little rundown of some of the differences. Now we're gonna do a video. We're gonna start looking at what's different in the cab. Thanks y'all for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, uh, give us a call or text, 903-270-0877. We wanna be your Massey Ferguson dealer here in, yeah, here in Central Texas, North Texas, whatever you call us, it's always, we're right on the line. Uh, but if y'all are searching for a tractor, needing a tractor, we're big on customer service and taking care of folks. And we'd, we'd really appreciate a chance to, to earn your business. And like I say, if you like what we're doing, like our YouTube channel, subscribe to us, you know, sh you know, let us know that you like what we're doing. If there's something that we haven't done that you'd like to see, let us know that too. Um, we enjoy doing these kinds of videos when we get that opportunity. We hope you do as well. Uh, and I think that it goes to show you that you, you get more with Massey, but you also get more when you, when you work with PR equipment. Thanks.